Hi, it's Susa. We uh, got disconnected here, ran out of time. I um, was saying about, you know, how some people feel that they are showing distaste or they don't like the third party that their divine twin is in. And I want you to know that you need to be thankful for that third party of that karmic relationship that your divine twin is going through because that person is helping your twin grow in an area of his or her life that is needed to be expanded, is, um, is in need of that love so that when you become uh, one again and become together, reunited in your relationship, you are both at the same vibration. You have all the love that you are so that your relationship is strong and can endure and can be together so you know I I when I left my my twin the last time um, it was sad being apart we were apart for over um, I don't know how many months it was and and I missed him and I couldn't get him off my mind that's another um, way you'll know that you're in a divine union um, and I wanted to reach out to him and I got signs to reach out so I went and meditated on it and I did and I went to him and I poured my heart out to him and and I told him you know we're divine twin flames you know we're meant to be together it's, it's beyond what we know and it's important and and he just didn't want, he wasn't ready to be in a relationship and um, thought I was flighty because I believed in fairies and star family and, you know, um, other realms. And I became vegetarian and that wasn't going to work for him. He eats meat and he's a tough man and he hunts and he traps and, you know, and so there was many things that he was living in his 3D uh, ego self and I saw that right away and I just I, I I realized you know we we weren't ready for each other or it wasn't gonna work and I didn't understand that we weren't ready at that time now I know you know we still had more growing to go I had more experiences to experience he had more growing to and experiences to experience and um, so when we left, I cried. I cried and I said, I just want you to be happy. I, what do you say, you know? You know you're destined to be together. You saw yourself. And that's another thing. I didn't mention that um, I've been with him in the 5D. You know, I, I was, I went through seeing, my, you know, different parts of my wedding ceremony with him before we came here. I experienced going on um, adventures with him here um, in the 5D and you know we went to many places like Full Tower we went to our home we went to different things that he's brought to our home and uh, just it, it, it's you know when you're a divine twin and people say there is there's no such thing as this twin. They're sick of hearing about the twin. They're sick of hearing the readings. They're sick of everything. Well, then don't watch it because there are there are unions out here called divine unions, and we are the twin flames, and we're brought here for a bigger, bigger, higher cause, and you don't have to understand everything. We don't know everything. We're not supposed to know everything. If we knew everything, you know, we wouldn't need our creator, would we? But um, getting back to my point, um, these readings and things are to help us to stay strong in knowing that you know we are here for a bigger cause and keep your faith in that, okay? I, I've lost it many times and I have to keep coming back to it and each time I meditate I come back to it and Meditating today again brought me back because the last couple of days I've been sad because it's like another weekend. I want to spend it with my twin. You know, I w I'm ready to be with him. Why isn't he ready to be with me? And, you know, these questions come up. And it's hurtful. It's sad. And 
but it's a different sad. It's not like the karmic. It's not um, intentional infliction. It's not um, someone that is here to teach you a lesson. You know, it's beyond that. It's um, it's a magnetism. It's a a love that is caring and. You start seeing synchronicities in your numbers, 11, 11, 11, um, 21, 12, 21, um, and you realize that these are mirroring numbers. These are to let you know that you are on your path, you're doing great, and your union will come together when you're both at the same vibration. Have faith, stay strong. You know, listen to things that help inspire you, affirmations, work on your journey, stay focused on yourself and not so much if he's with another person or she's with another person, you know, and if you're with a karmic, it's best to get out of that relationship. I, I went to a karmic after um, months and months and months of waiting for our union to come together and it didn't all last year and, you know, I wanted, I wanted company and, um, I started talking to a, a guy and I thought we had a great connection. I know we met each other and um, actually had dreams of um, knowing that I was with him before and pa in past life. And of course, you know, we've been here many times and we're going to have those experiences because we, we um, help each other learn different things. And, you know, I started getting gut feelings that something wasn't right and I, I felt sad and I felt like you know he wasn't there for me when I was talking to him or he would come and go you know get me hyped up get me excited to talk to him and then I wouldn't hear for him for a day or so or hours and um, you know these things are hurtful and I just felt like he was controlling me and he wanted things from me and he wanted money from me and you know different things like this and was jealous and you know just narcissistic unbalances traits that were you know um, that he was treating me like that and I just you know I I had to again look at different things and realize that you know this is not the way I'm to be treated I'm gonna be respected and started standing up to him and then things just went downhill and then he started threatening me and it would I just had to cut off communication and um, and he kept texting me and and I went back on and I made my final last and I forgive you I forgive you for you know how you treated me and whether it was because you didn't know better or um, it's a lesson for me to love myself but um, I'm not going to be treated this way and he knew I was a divine twin and and that brings a lot of jealousy so I should have never told him but I did and there's a reason for everything so I feel like there are no mistakes so yeah and you know what a caring guy he could be when he wanted to be and you know he taught me a valuable lesson you know and I love myself even more now you know and and you'll get these experiences back and forth in your life and it's to make sure that you learned did you learn from the last time let's see if she learned let's see if he learned this and you know it's important to um, to value yourself put yourself first and to learn how to love learn how to be patient kind empathetic you know free giving you know it's a give and take and you know everything goes with the flow and just to be strong and um, know that you know whether you're a divine twin or not you know you still can have that soulmate relationship that person that cares for you and um, and just make sure you find the right person and make sure they're at the same vibration as you and when you're working on yourself and you're still working on your service to others and your service to the world and beyond you will be reunited with the correct person you're meant to be with the divine will bless you and you know I have lots to be thankful I always say that and um, and I am I am very thankful and blessed and it's important for me to stay on my journey 
and this video is helping me even stay stronger in knowing that you know the right time for this wonderful divine union will be and I can listen to tarot I can listen to um, affirmations I can listen to different books or videos I mean and different read different books and you know find all those things that make me whole and make me be ready for my divine masculine and by me being loving and holding that light and sending him love and light and sending him my love and sending him a song here you know singing the song when I hear it and singing it to him you know helps helps him helps uplift him and helps him you know know that I'm still here and it's okay you know you need to work through your past your um, karmic things in your life that you held on from you know when you were a child and and know that um, it's okay it's okay because I went through it too and um, you know I think I'm ready and then you know something else comes up and it's like oh well maybe that's why we didn't get together I still wasn't ready you know um, so you know live life enjoy life and know that you know all things in good time will be brought to you okay so I'm gonna go because we've got two videos here now instead of one and um, I hope I covered a lot that help, might help you if you have any questions leave a comment and I'll try to um, post or you know pin something that might be helpful that I might have forgot okay and um, be in the light you know and be happy and uh, love out loud and be there for each other no matter what part we're playing okay just be there for each other you know we're a collective family and we're all brought together for this mission of uh, light and love on earth and ascension and it's a journey and there's a lot of good times and there's a lot of hard times but be strong in the hard times knowing that you're learning something and you're gaining something you're gaining it right here in your heart and you're gonna be stronger for it okay all right so I'm gonna go and I love you have a great day and uh, much love and light to all of you and thanks for listening and um, until next time namaste